Hey guys, I'm Brandon Jury, and in this edition of Killing the Cubase, we are going to talk about routing and creating your first audio track. Okay, in this particular video, we're going to go ahead and cover recording your uh, basic routing within Cubase um, and recording your first track. And this is where a lot of people have problems and because there's an extra step in there that Cubase has done. And, you know, I don't really know why these damn Germans do it this way, but uh, trying to avoid World War II jokes when I insult the Germans because that's kind of easy. And, anyway, um, but we're, we're going to cover ba the basic starting like from, from scratch, what you need to know. Okay, the first thing here, we have a blank Cubase screen, so we need to, I'm gonna go control N or something new. And Cubase does give you this little project assistant thing. It lets you open up um, recent tracks, like stuff I've already, songs I've been working on and things of that sort. And they've got kind of basic little templates, I guess you could say, for this stuff. Uh, ignore, that's my space heater making noise. Don't freak out or anything. All right, anyway, um, and I have my own, but I'm gonna click an empty one for now. And then, of course, it asks you where do you want to save all these audio files. And then I have a sec my separate hard drive for audio here, drive E. Let's toss it in Brandon 001 for now. Okay, and here's the default project window thingy. Again, this is what I call it, project window. Who knows what the real name is? And we have a blank slate. We have no tracks right now. Okay, so if we create uh, a new audio track, which I'm going to go slower here. Go to this little navy blue thing, right click, and you'll see a bunch of different options. And it's the top one, add audio track. And we're using a single mono microphone, so we will select mono. Okay, now let's put, let's call this our track. Now, if uh, I already have it kind of set default, if without pushing any normal, I, I have some presets that already have it working for me, so I'm going to intentionally break it to show you what happens. Now, most of you are going to say, okay, I created a new track. You're going to figure out, hey, I armed this. Well, for one, we came and arm it. See, arm, arm because we have no bus selected. Now I'm going to intentionally select some wrong bus. Um, if we record, now we can arm it. And that's the little red guy. Kind of like uh, you fighter pilots probably have a little red button in your, maybe not, I don't know. I don't really know fighter pilot things, unfortunately. Okay, so we've hit record. You can see we have a whole bunch of, wait, nothing, what the hell? Well, the <laughs> great acting on my part. Um, the reason for that is it's not getting the right signal. So we got to get this all figured out, and so you press F4, and again, some window uh, somewhere you can find this thing. I think this is under devices. Okay, yeah, it's called VST connections. I caught routing, but whatever. Okay, in our VST connections uh, window, we've got inputs and outputs. Now my rig's real complicated, and stupid with the console and all the idiotic things I'm always up to. Uh, you you guys with, with just like a one or two channel audio interface or even an eight channel interface um, it's gonna be quite a bit simpler like for the moment yeah for the moment just ignore all my junk here we're just gonna add a new bus and we can select mono or stereo or some of the 5.1 weird stuff that no one really uses I think and you can also set up a whole bunch at once if you want to do 10 at once you can it's right there for our, our purposes we just want one okay so we're gonna create a new one now I already know that my vocals always come in like when I'm uh, on six, and uh, that's just my system. Ignore it. Um, but most of you are going to be using channel one on your interface, and so you just select the first one. And uh, all your inter inputs from your interface should be right here. Okay, so I'm selecting number six, and let's name this Sunshine. You'd probably want to give it a little more accurate name, but I figure my voice is like sun shine or not all right anyway so we got all these big stupid buses and then I select sunshine now that's that's an input again you can see that right here and or you can see it right here I need more sounds I don't have enough I need to be that police academy uh, guy all right anyway so if hit record now have an opera singer. Okay, so we obviously recorded our first track here. Um, that's the basic input. Now, let's just assume we don't have any output buses. I don't know if I want to delete all these. Let's just delete this one. 
Yes, it is. Okay, now, pretend this is empty. Uh, uh, just use your imagination. All right, because that's kind of how I have it set up right now. If we hit play, nothing. And the reason for that's pretty simple is because, look at this track, no bus. And that's because we've deleted more or less this thing. It's, it's, it's stupid, but anyway. So we wanna make sure we have an output bus, which is for most of you is gonna be, we want this one to be stereo. Um, it's going to be uh, one and two on your interface. I use seven and eight. Again, I have a system you don't wanna know. And that's called stereo out. Now hang on, I gotta push them. Yeah, okay, we're gonna set that as the main mix. If you don't have all this other junk, you wouldn't have to do that, but it should be the main mix there. You know, again, I just push that. So, what that means now is this track needs to be routed to our stereo bus. Stereo out, two bus, call it what you want. And there it is, let me kill F4, and now you can see the mixer. So we're gonna have the signal come in there, in there. Uh oh. Oh, well hang on. See, I, I'm the wrong guy. I've got everything too complicated for you guys, but all right. It, that's the reverse sound, and then rewinding. Now, yes, so good. Okay, so you get the idea that this track plays here, and it like flows, and then it's told to go to stereo out, and so there it goes. Okay, and that, that's the most basic form of routing. So what we've basically done, once again, I'm gonna say basically 700 times, um, Inputs, I created an input bus here called Sunshine, and we snagged signal from, from channel six from my interface, it's what's well, called an interface for easy figuring. That signal came in there, we hit record, and we got that when I was singing, sorta, of. and then we hit play, it went, it went through this, and through this channel, I guess you could say, and we can say we can adjust all that kind of stuff and to the stereo out. Simple enough.